Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. What's going on guys? Zenos here and today I'm bringing you guys on the guide on Light John Wick uh, or Light Baba Yaga. So if you are really lucky or if you have been really lucky to get this wonderful unit then this guide might actually help you. So he, let's start with this discussion. He's a multi-type DPS servant, a light type obviously and he has pretty good enhanced attack uh, compared to that of his like uh, forest water and fire counterparts all right so that's pretty good speed is same defense is pretty enhanced as well it seems and next thing is let's start with his uh, skill discussion uh, first skill is known as the shotgun 70% chance to decrease the enemy defense for 30 seconds by level 5 pretty good uh, same cliche uh, second hit uh, second skill is the hitman all right it says increases cost of attack for 60 seconds by level 5 pretty cliche pretty okay and finally his uh, combo skill is known as the mozambique drill that deals 8316 percent damage that's a bit higher damage than open skill use damage based on the attack multi-hit for hit skill so uh, especially if you are trying to one shot the uh, opponents who can uh, limit the incoming damage only up to the 30 percent of their max hp like let's say fire heat then this might actually be a very good skill to one shot them all right so pretty good and finally his passive skill removes one enemy buff from the enemy tank okay that's good and melee dps class when a combo skill lands as a critical hit okay that is good Increases defense by 200% when HP is over 90%. Okay, now that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> ah, man. Okay, so... Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, so it's sort of like a like a debuffer. Okay, I mean like a cleanser for the uh, opponents. That can actually be pretty good. Quite unique. Uh, but thing is that like increasing his defense by 200%, that actually doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm... So uh, that's 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 pretty much purely survival kit, okay? So it doesn't make any sense to me. I activated upon the fourth awakening. Uh, when you actually have the fourth awakening, his relation effect will be activated. That is, if ally Sophia is present, attack increases by one hundred percent, and if an ally tank is present, uh, attack increases by one seventy uh, percent. All right, so that's a total of one hundred and seventy percent of attack boost right away. If you have a Sophia and ally tank in your team. Pretty good, pretty good. And finally, team passive attack of light allies increases by 57% at all reasons. 57% that is a lot of attack boost right on the table. So that is good. So, uh, looking into the general case of Sinar, I would rate this character about 8.5. He's sort of like a utility plus attack boost at the same time. So, uh, quite, quite high attack and the. Uh, quite a utility right over there so 8.5 sort of thing and pretty good unit so if you really want to use him on any kind of unit uh, whether it be a pvp content or pve content he can actually make a very good uh, servant for you especially if you manage to pull him off and good luck with transcending this unit all right so now let's move on to what sort of gear quick shall we actually give to this wonderful unit uh you can go with the double havoc gear all right so that would be the best gear if you are a basic or a beginner just go with the beast gear plus blade gear all right that will actually help you a lot but double have a gear is the end game content gear set and when it comes to the weapon the shirt and the pants primary stats are flat stats no worry and uh, when you when you are talking about the additional stats please go with the speed boost attack percentage boost critical rate boost and critical damage boost these are the uh, gear that will actually help you to dictate that if a gear is perfect gear or not just like right over here these stats are the one that will make a gear set perfect gear for a dps servant all right so that is pretty good and uh finally with the gloves and the necklace speed stat boost is the primary stat boost uh and like primary stats all right and when it comes to the helmet and the havoc ring please go with the critical damage boost but if you lack on the critical rate boost please go with the critical rate boost as the primary stat on the helmet all right but for the havoc ring i mean like for the ring please go with the critical damage boost uh 
right away. And for the shoes, attack percentage boost, uh, no questions asked, okay? It's a it's no brainer. So that's how you should be building the equipment or let's say the gear for the light John Wick and he will wreak havoc on the enemies. Pretty good utility, pretty good damage output, uh, 8.5 over 10, That that's what I would say. Pretty good unit guys. So this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video.